and I own the Troika Gallery in East End. And I'm Dana Newman and I'm the Library Director. And I have, for Frederick Douglass Day, I have um, donated a painting, a portrait of Frederick that I just finished and have framed. And my gallery, Troika Gallery, is making this donation to the library and we're gonna unveil it today. All right, Mrs. Era has been very generous to donate this portrait. We are very happy to receive it at the library. The portrait, when it comes to the library on October the 5th, will be hung uh, directly behind the circulation desk so that all that check out can view the portrait and just see what a wonderful gift it is. We are just so happy to receive this generous <laughs> gift. Um, and then after October, probably sometime in November, it will be moved to our Frederick Douglass room. And I think that's gonna really embody the spirit of Frederick Douglass and really bring the uh, spirit alive in this room. So we really mm -hmm. appreciate your gift. You're welcome, you're welcome. I really enjoyed painting him. Such an interesting face, just fabulous history behind those eyes. And I hope I captured it. Yes. Okay. And do you have future plans for um, any any other portraits? I did another one also. It's a little different. It's a close up of him, and that will be at the gallery at the Troika Gallery. So you could be interested in seeing that. Mm, I might even sell it. Who well, knows? That's great. <laughs> Who knows? But for right now, it's, it will be on view there. Some lucky person will be. That's uh, the true. owner of that, so that's wonderful. That's true, okay. Forever immortalized on linen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. All okay. right, thank you. And here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> and as you can yeah. see, it says Frederick Douglass, 1818 to 1895. Uh, and yeah. it has Laura Arrow's signature at the bottom. So it's beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We really very much. Like this gift. You're very welcome. Hello, I'm Laura Era. I'm the current owner of Troika Gallery in Easton, Maryland on Harrison Street. And this gallery has been running for 23 years. It's been very popular. We're very pleased to be here. And Talbot County has treated us very well. And one of those heroes of Talbot County, as we all know, is Frederick Douglass. Earlier this year, uh, Debbie Dobson, who is the PR marketing chair for the Frederick Douglass Days that will happen on September 26th, she approached me saying, hey, would you like to take part in this year's event? And I said, well, yeah, I've always loved painting Frederick Douglass. I did a painting earlier, like I would say mm, five or six years ago, when they had a fundraiser for the statue that now is in front of the courthouse of him. And I donated a portrait, uh, a head and shoulders, a small one, um, and that was auctioned off and to raise money for that statue. And I loved painting him. He's got a fabulous face and all that wonderful hair. And so, but here's the question. We thought being that the governor, Hogan, has made this the year of the woman, that wouldn't it be appropriate to maybe paint a portrait of his first wife, who was Anna Murray. And that would hang in the Frederick Douglass room of the Tarby County Free Library. And so we kicked that idea around and I went over to the library and they showed me Frederick Douglass room. It's a beautiful room. It's all paneled and very nice. But I noticed there weren't any formal portraits of Frederick. So I thought, oh boy, we can't, maybe we better do this in steps. So how about, Debbie, how about if I donate a framed portrait to hang in the Frederick Douglass room there 
of him first. Then maybe next year, who knows, maybe, maybe I'll do Anna. That would be great. But we gotta get Frederick in there first. <laughs> So, as I said, I love painting him. He has such an interesting face. Um, the history, the suffering, the intelligence behind those eyes, they really, they really grab me. And of course, I love his hair, it's fabulous. Now, some people ask me why, um, why did I, I used a black and white photo. Of course, they didn't have color back then. Um, he's one of the most photographed people in American history, he and Abraham Lincoln and all, and they were friends. But they asked me, why did I put a burgundy, sort of a red vest on him? And I told them, well, in the arts, the star always wears red. So I had to put some kind of red on him. So I think it really enhances the portrait and brings it out. And as you can see, I have his name in the background scratched in lightly, and then the date of his birth, 1818, and the date of his uh, death, 1895. And I uh, have it in this traditional frame. And this will hang in the Frederick Douglass Room of the Free Library in Talbot County.